I mean, there's so many ways that we're impatient and we ruin God's amazing plan for us because we didn't want to wait. Oh my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exult over me. Indeed, none who waits for you shall be put to shame. No one who waits on the Lord will be put to shame. What a beautiful thing, right? The only hard part about that is we believe it, but God's timing isn't our timing. Sometimes it takes him three, five, ten times longer than we would have liked. His purpose and his perfect will is better than ours, but ours normally has a shorter timeline than his. We have a fear of people or a fear of what we might lose or a fear of what we might not achieve. So we go ahead and we take action out of turn and out of line because we didn't want to wait. I love this. Check it out. But trusting God in a fallen world often involves waiting. Abraham waited for 25 years before seeing the fulfillment of God's promise of a child. God didn't part the Red Sea until the last minute after the Egyptians had the Israelites surrounded and all hope seemed lost. The Christian waits for Christ's return and for the redemption of our ailing, broken, sinful, ridden bodies. Like there is so much waiting, but God always comes through. Do you believe that? Okay, you say you believe it, but do you live like you believe it? Do you live in patient waiting on the Lord? Or do you start dating a weird dude who may or may not love Jesus? He's kind of eh, but you just don't want to be lonely. Do you make really quick split minute decisions or do you wait and get advice and pray about what it is you're supposed to do with your life in that moment? Do you cut ties with friends or do you stick around patiently while they're broken in their sin and help to restore them, love them well, pray for them, be patient with them and help bear their burdens? I love in the scripture that it says, oh my God, in you I trust. The basis for being able to be patient is trusting that the Lord is going to come through. He keeps his promises. He does what he says he's gonna do, but it's not always in your timing. Okay, so what are you waiting for right now in life? Maybe it's to finish school or to start school or to get out of your parents' house or maybe it's for a boyfriend or for a husband or for someone to be healed, or maybe it's for a child, or for a new job, or for a promotion, for friendship. What are you waiting for right now? And how are you tempted in your heart and in your mind to take action that won't serve the Lord, but it will make it go faster? Do you ever look at non-believers and think, they don't have to wait on God, they can do whatever they want, whenever they want, they have it much better, or they have it easier. Do you ever think that secretly in your heart, in your mind? If you do, I mean, that's obviously not the heart of a believer. So confess that to the Lord right now. So good thing people in the Bible waited too. It gives us a blueprint for how to wait in a way that is godly. It's okay to be sad and, and to show emotion and to say, God, it's hurting in the waiting, but I'm willing to do it. Read Psalm 13 and see how the psalmist was waiting and was crying out, Lord, how long? Turn that psalm into a prayer and, and just cry out to the Lord that you can be patient and glorifying Him in your waiting period.